from the state of Maine. <laughs> I can just picture him looking down on us today and saying, wow, what an honor. He spent 26 years in the Air Force doing whatever it took for his country. And he continued to do so until the day he died. Thank you and God bless the USA. Luck would have it. The uh, individual that won Veteran of the Year who worked with Fred on various uh, times being filling in as assistant secretary or treasurer or whatever Fred needed to do, depending upon what project he had going or what his health issues were. Our Veteran of the Year is Colonel Gil Ruderman. Colonel Ruderman has the distinction of having been born in a country that no longer exists. He was born in Palestine before it became Israel. Consequently, he found out at an early age that he was not eligible to be president. He insists that he's handled this realization without any difficulty. He grew up as a typical army brat, living in Persia, Egypt, Germany, and the United States as a child. After graduating from high school in Fayetteville, North Carolina, he attended a normal school, East Carolina College, for a year, and he went to the United States Military Academy, a school he doesn't consider normal. Graduating in 1966 as a field artillery officer for 26 years, his assignments range from typical branch assignments culminating in a command of the 1st Battalion, 29th Field Artillery and the 4th Infantry Division at Fort Carson, Colorado. The more varied ones including two and a half years teaching ROTC at the University of Florida and commanding the Heilbronn military community in Germany for two years, including the Desert Storm deployment. He insists that the Army's decision to close the community at his command in 92 was not based on his job performance. He spent two and a half years in Vietnam where he had the misfortune to be in the wrong place at the wrong time twice. Slow learner. He had a much more enjoyable tour in 1998 when he and his wife spent 11 days on vacation in Vietnam. In addition to his Bachelor's of Science from the Military Academy, he has a Master's of Arts degree from the University of Florida. His military schooling included the Field Artillery Advanced Course, the Army Command and General Staff College, the Army War College, the admission of the Field Artillery Basic Course is not an oversight. He and many of his peers did not attend the Basic Course due to their imminent deployment to Vietnam. His awards and decorations include the Legion of Merit, Bronze Star with V, Two Purple Hearts, he's earned the Master Parachutist Badge, the Ranger Tab, and the Pathfinder Badge. He and his wife Florence lived in Manatee County for 14 years, nine longer than he's lived anywhere else at one time. Ladies and gentlemen, our better Fancy County Frederick J. Graves, Veteran of the Year, Colonel Gil Ruderman. Thank you, Don. On behalf of the 30,000 or so veterans in Manatee County and the countless organizations who help veterans and who believe in patriotism and American freedom. I am honored to accept this award and I'm privileged to accept it under the auspices of a friend and true patriot, Colonel Fred Graves. Thank you very much. <laughs>